Hey, so I want to make you a quick video about Reclaim. So I'm going to show you the Reclaim system that I use here at my studio. Simple, straightforward, don't need a pug mill, don't need any special tools uh, that you can do this at home easily with two buckets. Okay, I have more buckets because I have more clay. But really all you need is a wet bucket and a dry bucket. So at the end of the day, if you have leather hard or drier, you put it in a dry bucket. And if you have like anything wetter than that, like th throwing slurry and little muddy bits of clay, then you throw them in a wet bucket. So here today I have, um, <laughs> so here's a dry bucket, my newest, freshest dry bucket where the clay isn't dry yet. Okay. And now what you're going to do with that is you're going to let it dry down until it becomes bone dry and white. The reclaim is only really going to work if this becomes totally bone dry because then you can add water to this and it will slake down. Okay. S-L-A-K-E, slake. You can look that up. Basically it means you put water in there and overnight it turns into slurry or slop. So that's what this bucket is. Um, it's hard to tell because I had to move it, but you can come in the next morning and there'll be a film of water over top, but all of these, as soon as you touch them, they just like disintegrate into slurry, which is super cool and magical. So that's what's in this bucket. And then you have wet buckets or one wet bucket. Now you have to monitor your wet buckets every single day. The first thing you do when you come into the studio, the first thing I do when I come into the studio is take off any water that's on that's settled out. That's on top of the, the wet bucket. So that's what this bucket is. It's mostly clay water. And if you look in this one, you can see it's, you know, three quarters clay. But on top, there's a little bit of water. So every day, separate that water off and see once it gets into slurry, you're going to leave that in your bucket. So here's one that I was bone dry and I poured water over it, um, whatever, a couple days ago. And then when you come in, there'll be a little bit of water sitting on top and you're going to pour that off into a separate bucket. Okay, if you can't lift it, use a smaller bucket or don't fill it all the way. Okay, I hope you can see that. And then what you have left there is what I would call slurry or slop. Okay, you can mix it with your hand or you can mix it with a big drill with a whip on it. Okay? Woo! it but it's going to be a little bit more uh, wedging for you if you don't whip it okay you can also whip it with your hand um, and just like you can see this literally like two days ago was this was bone dry clay and the water has made the clay slate down and there's hardly any chunks on it in it if you did that with this you just have water and a bunch of leather hard pieces of clay. Like it doesn't break down until it's totally bone dry. Okay, so from there, now you've got a nice slop bucket. It's pretty stinky. You can put a drop or two of bleach in it, in the water. Um, you don't need to. Organic matter does make your clay more slippery and plastic. And so here we have how we're gonna dry it out. We're gonna dry it out on a plaster sink. And so this is what a plaster sink looks like. I made it myself. Okay, um, I just use a roasting pan and a couple coddles and pour it a plaster sink. I have two of them. I always lay, um, this is like a polyester piece of cloth, it's an apron over it, because if you get any little bits of plaster in your clay, that makes your, it causes plaster pop outs, which are like little explosions and craters and not cool for pottery. Um, so I lay a piece of fabric over it. Don't use a terry cloth towel because they deteriorate over time. And just dump her in there. And then the plaster is awesome because it uh, absorbs water. So depending on the humidity in your room and the wetness of your whatever's in your bucket, that will dry down and become clay consistency in a week or so. And then you're going to wedge it. And I'm going to give you a different demo on slam wedging and wedging a different time. Um, should show this too. If you don't want to make your own 
plaster sink. This is like a, a mold for making a platter, and I believe it came from a pottery supply house. So you could also just buy a big plaster mold and use that. I also just wanted to show you quickly, remember how we poured all the water off of all of the other buckets of reclaim? Well, that water, there's not a lot of clay in it. It's pretty watery, but it's t a little bit too thick to put down the drain at the house. Um, so I saved that water, reserved the water that I poured off the slot buckets every day until this becomes dry, and then I pour it over that. And so, oh jeez. <laughs> Slow down. And you can, so basically I'm not wasting fresh water. I'm using all the fine particles that came off the slurry to recycle into more clay, right? And then I haven't covered this, so I will have to use a little bit more water just to cover all those pieces. Again, we'll just turn like this weird leather hard thing. They won't actually break down unless they're submerged. So that's it. One bucket that's dry, one bucket that's wet. When your wet bucket gets full, you can just put it into here too. Like this one. See what's in the bottom of there. All of this stuff, you can just throw that in the plaster sink or you can dump it in here too. Good. Okay. So now everything's wet. And then you have a new empty bucket to refill. <laughs> and free clay. Okay, hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Tell your friends, sign up for class. Bye.